WLHR, Las Vegas Hot Radio, the heart and soul of Las Vegas music. You're listening to What's Up Las Vegas with your host, Linnell Baker, right here on LasVegasHotRadio.com. <laughs> Las Vegas Hot Radio, it's your girl Linnell, and I am here today with Mr. Al Lindsay. Hey, Al. What's up, Linnell? How are you doing? All is well up here in uh, cold, cold Michigan. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you know, you have to change the seasons in Michigan, it's to be expected. You got to come on out to Vegas and get some of this warm weather. Today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've been getting a little bit of that weather, unfortunately. You know, it actually snowed in Vegas. Wow. It does. It snows here. Not like Michigan, but it does snow. Enough about cold weather. Let's talk yeah. about Mr. Al Lindsay because you have an exciting album and you have an exciting performance coming up. Our listeners probably want to know a little bit about your story, you know, how you got started, how you were inspired to produce the music that you have currently. Well, my inspiration, my musical inspiration, uh, probably is one of a so-called uh, more sort of a divine nature in that um, I started singing in a church when I was about 13, 14 years old. Uh, and I was singing lead in the uh, uh, gospel, the adult choir uh, when I lived in Detroit. And uh, it was from that to Motown, you know, uh, listening to uh, David Ruffin, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, even before them, uh, Sam Cooke. Uh, the inspiration uh, from their vocal styles is what. And then, of course, I had a fascination with poetry uh, as a kid. So integrate the writing of poetry with uh, a singing voice, and that is how Al Lindsay uh, evolved. I uh, started singing in the nightclubs in Detroit when I was about 16, 17, uh, singing stuff by uh, Johnny Taylor, um, Who's Making Love, and uh, I Want to Lose You. Uh, so I wasn't even old enough to be in there, but <laughs> <laughs> that was. That never love. stopped anybody. <laughs> I even sang at the, the 20 grand one time with some singing group when we were teenagers. Okay, that so. was my mom and dad's hangout. <laughs> my mom used to sneak out the window to go to the 20 grand, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> according well, to my grandmother. You mentioned poetry. I really like the monologue and versatility. That's pretty awesome yeah. because you talk about a lot of the things going on in the world today. It's pretty creative. It's set to music, and uh, it's a pretty awesome message. How were you inspired by that? Just current events? or Just current events, absolutely. Uh, uh, the pain, the frustration, things that have gone on, the weather changes. Uh, I I brought all of that, uh, the uh, oppression of people of color, uh, the leadership, uh, the administration that we currently have in there, all of these things, and uh, that's what inspired that somewhat uh, the way uh, Marvin was inspired with what's going on in that album, you know? Sure. Uh, it is a similar type thing. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah exactly and, and not so much that I was reaching for that but uh, history has a tendency to repeat itself doesn't it and, yes, and we, it does. yeah, we're right where we were in the 60s as far as I'm concerned you know yeah indeed, absolutely indeed. unfortunately we are I think it may even be worse because in the 60s it was to be expected because they were coming out of the 50s and you yes. kind of knew that people felt this way at this point in the game we're, we're talking 2019 a lot of things have happened we've had a black president people think that things have changed that mindsets have changed ideologies have changed the way we do things all of these different things are in place so that people can try to be equal now you're finding out with this new administration that those thoughts that people had back then are even worse than they were back then that's very disappointing i really don't know where we go from here well you know those of us that are searching for value and substance out of things and, and I, being one of those, I raised my hand to that. Uh, I, things have, should have meaning to me, make sense to me. And, you know, the political uh, aspect of that song, too. As a matter of fact, I, I had a review uh, from uh, Great Britain 
um, they spoke of my CD, they spoke of the artists across the pond, you know, and that's how they reference uh, people in America who have crossed the pond on the other side of the pond, but uh, they spoke of my album, and I got great reviews, uh, and then, of course, I'm touching on some political themes. And then it seems like nothing seems to be sacred anymore. Uh, things once treasured and, and revered. It's no longer about telling the truth, man. And, and then, as I'm watching things fall down before my very eyes with the destruction of people that I admire so much, like R. Kelly, such a gifted musician, writer, uh, and, and now here we are back with Michael Jackson again, with all of these allegations, and, uh, and then we have all these mass shootings and, uh, you know, people being gunned down. I want to back a little bit. That's exactly what they are, allegations, until something is proven. People have a tendency to jump on the bandwagon with these things before things are proven. It has shown us that situations can be created. People can plant things. Witnesses can be bought. You can pretty much paint any picture that you want. If you want to destroy somebody, if it's your goal to destroy somebody, and you try hard enough and you have the resources to do so, it's not something that's impossible. I say wait until all the facts are there before a court of law and a judge and jury has made a determination based on all the evidence presented. What if he's telling the truth? He was just on an interview with Gail King. He's saying that these are old allegations. They're trying to hold the old thing against him where he was already tried for that, apparently not convicted because witnesses were bought or people didn't show up or truthful statements weren't being made. I'm not really sure because I wasn't in that court. Room. You can only really go by hearsay, and we all know how things even get twisted sometimes in the media. Just to be fair, because, I mean, what is that with your brother? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think about that, and I'm sensitive to that. And, and to some extent, this to a degree constitutes uh, double jeopardy to be retried for something that one was uh, exonerated of. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, if he did these things, and I'm saying, you yeah, uh, know, and, and the evidence yet to support it, but there are, at this point, allegations. And he, his career has literally been destroyed on allegations. And then you go look back, people, like I said, that we, we valued in our community, uh, uh, Bill Cosby, we can go on and on and on. So where, you know, I, where... Day one, <laughs> jumping on the yeah, camera. Absolutely. Against our own people. And I'm not saying that we should defend him because he's black, if he's wrong. If he did that, I'm a female. I'm a black female. I used to speak to teen mothers about pregnancy and their life choices and that type of thing. I was always invited to the Detroit Federation of Youth to speak to a group of girls. Things can look one way and be perceived one way, and that may not be the way that it is at all. I would just like to see people be fair um, before jumping on the bandwagon. Even attack the lady who posted bail. Mm. If that was your friend before and you don't know if the person is innocent or guilty yet and based on what you know of the person, you don't believe it to be true because you've never seen any evidence. Maybe the person helped you out before and you want to post bail to help your friend. Who am I or anyone else to say what you can and can't do with your money? So now they're trying to destroy this woman. But I don't want to spend the whole interview talking right. about R. Kelly, but Michael Jackson, while we're on this subject, the man is dead. Yes. And he's buried. He's already been on trial for those allegations as well. I don't feel that they should be drudged back up when he's not even here to defend himself. Everything is fair game when it comes to people of color. That's where music come in and the importance of music, the universal language, where people such as myself, the freedom to express things that they see that they witness in society. Thank God there are stations like Las Vegas Hot Radio and Detroit Hot Radio. These stations that support artists that are playing good music and my team is soul you know what I'm saying and I sing from the heart and I was inspired by Marvin Sam David Teddy Luther you hear a little bit of all of them when you hear Al Lindsay these people inspired me and we need to keep that soul music alive and that's why it's a blessing to have this interview thank God for stations like yourself that give artists such as myself a platform to uh, showcase uh, our talent. We appreciate more about your career and some of your other songs right after this. 
Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, where'd you get that lipstick? It's Tantas, Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. Girl, they have over 42 vibrant hues of the sheerest of pure to the boldness of cobalt blue. Wow. With exciting shades of nude, pink, red, and orange, and anything in between. Well, I just love it. Can I find it online? Yes, at TantasCosmetics.com. It's a deal. I'm going on TantasCosmetics.com. And you can find it at Macy's, 12 Oaks, Novi, Michigan. Michigan, and Lenox Mall in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Tantas, Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. Sync us in your car and download our app on your phone. Las Vegas Hot Radio, the heart and soul of Las Vegas music. Now, on with the show, right here on LasVegasHotRadio.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Las Vegas Hot Radio. You're listening to What's Up Las Vegas with your host, Linnell Baker. And if you're just joining us, we are interviewing Mr. Al Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Hey, before we went to break, we got a little political. You guys missed it. If you're just joining us, we were talking about Al Lindsay's song, Versatility, which is a monologue. But he has a vast variety of music. It's pretty amazing to see an artist be so broad because usually you have an artist that mostly sings ballads or most of their stuff is a certain genre of music. But you're kind of all over the place in a good way. I know one of my favorites is the Midsummer Dream. I love that. Ah, and that's one of my favorites too. Uh, beautiful, beautiful ballad. Midsummer Dream is my favorite. Uh, at least one of my favorites. I'm put it like that. I'm so glad you like uh, Midsummer Dream. That's a beautiful uh, ballad written exclusively by me. Actually, I wrote all of the songs on the CD versatility except for Home. Now, Home, of course, uh, was made famous by uh, Stephanie. Neil. And that's the song that I had always wanted to do as well over the years. I've never heard a man sing a song and deliver it, but I put a kind of different spin on it, still with the same uh, passion that uh, Stephanie. So if you have an opportunity for your listeners to get that album of versatility, take a listen to Home. Beautiful rendition. Beautiful rendition. I've actually heard it, and I absolutely love it. I love the versatility in your music. You've got some blues. You've got a little reggae. Out of all of your songs, what's your favorite? Is it Miss Summer Dream? Because I said that's my favorite. <laughs> well, no, actually, Miss Summer Dream is one of my favorite, really. Is. And I wrote that as, uh, believe it or not, I wrote as a teenager. Wow. And so here I was, well, think about it. You're speaking about something that's not really there in your daydream. It's a dream. She's not really there, but in your mind, this is what you're creating, this beautiful woman, and, but it's a dream. And then you don't want her to come to you because when she comes to you, she's going to disappear. <laughs> <And> you, want, <laughs> you don't want that dream to go away. So that's the summer dream, beautiful song, and I'm flattered that you like that. Yes, all of them have their own unique flair. Very creative. Who was your biggest inspiration? As I stated before, uh, a lot of the Motown artists, uh, Marvin Gaye, David Ruffin, but before them, Sam Cooke. And then then we have Teddy Pendergrass, Luther Van Ross, Ron Isley, Will Downing. There's a smooth jazz tune on there. Uh, The song, actually, Versatility, not the monologue, but the, the song itself, Versatility, yes. Sure. I try to cover it all. Of course, the reggae, not so much that Marley, you know, <laughs> influenced that, but I, I just always wanted to do something with a reggae feel to it. And my producers on that album, uh, James Owens and his son, uh, James Owens Jr., and both of them are musicians uh, that play for uh, Angie Stone. And okay. James uh, Sr., he's her guitarist, and James Jr., he's her drummer. But they produced my CD. I mean, and then James Jr. is only about 24, 25 years old, and he just left Saginaw, Michigan, and he's relocated, and he's moved rather to uh, Atlanta. I turned to a younger uh, producer, uh, basically to do for me what uh, R. Kelly did for Ronald Isley. So, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we take a listen to Midsummer Dream? This is how grown folk music is supposed to sound. Real good. This is real R&B. Las Vegas Hot Radio, the heart and soul of Las Vegas music. Baby, I can remember. 
remember that day in July I had just barely closed my eyes From out of nowhere came a vision of you I couldn't speak, but I did not fear It was a bright shining light that consumed me A glow so divine, pure as the best of wine Just like the warmth from the sun, this love has just begun And then I realized it was only a dream Oh, we Come on back to me, baby Seems so real So real Won't you
Oh, wow. That was awesome. Like I said, that is one of my favorites of your collection of songs. That's perfect for sitting back with a glass of wine or in the summertime for riding in the car, looking at some scenery. It's, it's pretty smooth. I like it. You have a variety of songs. Like we discussed, we discussed your, your inspiration and how you got started with this. I know that you will be performing in Detroit coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's like a homecoming for me. <laughs> Being that I'm the product of Detroit, I'll be at the uh, Club Allure on Gratiot uh, Avenue in East Point, suburb just outside of Detroit, the 16th uh, of March. Really looking forward to that. I'm going to do a little bit of everything there. So I'm very, very uh, excited about that concert. Are you on the show by yourself? Yes, it's my show, but I have uh, a young lady by the name of Nikhil. She'll open up. Actually, is my uh, one of my background singers, and Nikel is uh, a vocalist in her own right. So I'm showcasing Nikel. So, if people are interested in uh, purchasing tickets for the show, how much are the tickets? Where can they get the tickets? Is there a website where it's being promoted other than on our Las Vegas Hot Radio? I know that we are definitely supporting that, and I know you also have a live interview coming up with Andrea. So I know our listeners are looking forward to that. But uh, tell them, you know, how they can get tickets. We're not going to. Assume that they know. <laughs> There's a, a, a ticket site. I'm, I, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember the name of it. Is it Ticketmaster? No, it's not Ticketmaster. It's uh, it ends with bright or light or something like that. Event bright. Event bright, yes. And uh, fifteen, twenty bucks. Oh, and wow. they had early bird to purchases for ten. I don't know if they're all gone, but uh, it's very. We're not trying to hurt anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When well, that's come that's out and just have a good free. time. Because that's the price is down there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not spending very much, and you have a nice evening out, listen to some nice music. So, guys, be sure to go out and support the show. So, you plan to sing your full lineup? The young lady that's opening up for you, your background singer, are you trying to push her out into a solo career? Yes. Uh, she's a very beautiful young lady, very talented, multi-talented, uh, Miss Mikhail. And she's been working on something in the studio, and she's going to release something as well. But she's not under, uh, you know, my umbrella or anything. I have no connection in that regards. But she happens to sing for me, and I, I believe in helping out. The only thing I can to help someone else's career. So I think Absolutely. if you it, it comes back to you. So it does. A lot of times when you try to help others, you help yourself at the same time. Absolutely. And um, you have to, um, you know, reach that hand back and pull other people up with you. That's awesome. If she has a beautiful voice, so you're giving her an opportunity to be in the spotlight. That's awesome. Who knows what will come from that? Well, I'm going to say this. Because it's a low ticket price, has nothing to do with the quality of the concert that you'll be seeing over here. Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, yeah, we just a want to be and share with everyone. So, yeah. I don't think anybody who is a true music connoisseur would ever feel that way. There are many people who are famous now. You can judge a book by its cover, and you definitely can't judge the quality of the show because the ticket prices are low. I mean, that's just that's a great thing. You're not trying to break people. Each foot has been through a lot. Yes, it has. With the economy and, you know, I know some plant closed, and so you're just making it affordable for people at a time like this. Absolutely. We just want them to come out and enjoy themselves, have a good time, and get acquainted with Al Lindsay. Absolutely. I think the listeners should get a little bit more acquainted with you. I think we should probably let them listen to maybe one more. Cotton um, candy. Cotton candy. Ooh, that's hot over in uh, Great Britain, I'll tell you that. Okay, cotton candy. Tell them a little bit about it, and then we'll let them listen to it. It's a fun song. A got fun song? Like, got me groove to it. Girl, you look so lovely, as sweet as you can be. All uh, right. Wish that I could hold you each and every day. I'm not going to give it all away, but... Okay. It's, it's, <laughs> you picture people dancing. It's, it's, she's just like cotton candy, you know, as sweet as she can be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's see what he means by this cotton candy. So let's go to cotton candy, and we'll be right back after this. Let's rock. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on. Girl, you look so lovely. As sweet as you can be. Wish that I could hold you each and every day. This ain't no fantasy. Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. Girl, they have over 42 vibrant hues of the sheerest of pure to the boldness of cobalt blue. Wow. With exciting shades of nude, pink, red, and orange, and anything in between. Well, I just love it. Can I find it online? Yes, at TantasCosmetics.com. It's a deal. I'm going on TantasCosmetics.com. And you can find it at Macy's, 12 Oaks, Novi, Michigan, and Lenox Mall in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Tantas, Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. WLHR, Las Vegas Hot Radio, the heart and soul of Las Vegas music. Now, on with the show, right here on LasVegasHotRadio.com. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just joining us, we've been talking with Mr. Al Lindsay, and we just listened to Cotton Candy, which was pretty hot. We talked about Al's upcoming show in Detroit. And where is that show going to be again, Al? Club Allure in East Point. In East Point. And we talked about you're able to get the tickets on Eventbrite. Al, do you have social media pages or a fan page where our Absolutely. listeners can follow you? Al Lindsay Music on Facebook is my page. AllLindsayMusic.com. It's Al Lindsay Music through Facebook. And then um, with my music uh, for purchase, uh, all of the uh, online, uh, with uh, CD Baby, iTunes, 
Amazon, Spotify, whatever methods people are using to stream or download, it's out there. Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, make sure you follow Mr. Al Lindsay. He's pretty hot, and I mean, he has something for everybody. So whatever your thing is, whatever type of music you like, I promise you he has a song on the CD that suits your fancy, from blues to reggae to soul. I mean, a true variety of music. It's, it's really good riding music is what I call it. Like if you're taking a road trip or something like that, um, I would definitely want to have your CD in the car. Mr. Lindsay. In closing, what would you leave with our listeners? Patience, perseverance, trust, love, understanding, colorblind, no prejudgment, honesty, avoid unrealistic expectations or demands on others. Remember, two are as one, one becomes two. The strength in diversity, absolutely. It's like a rainbow, that's diversity. And you have to be flexible to be diverse. And through diversity, that's how it's all achieved. Versatility. Al Lindsay, check me out. Wonderful, beautiful, poetic. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Al Lindsay. Be sure to support him, add him on social media, go on Eventbrite, get tickets to the show, listen to Al Lindsay, get the CD, put it in your car. Truly awesome. Al Lindsay, thank you so much for stopping by Las Vegas Hot Radio and for gracing us here on What's Up Las Vegas. I truly enjoyed having you on the show, and I'm so grateful to you for coming on. Well, you know, you interview very well, too. Oh, well, you can't have a good interview. Uh, your questions, uh, I love the way you leave it open and it flowed very well, didn't it? Oh, I thought so. Uh, well, you know, I'm getting better with each interview. I think I'm improving. You know, practice makes perfect. <laughs> it makes a well oiled machine. It does. I think my first couple interviews were kind of shaky, even though it's not my first time speaking publicly or presenting. Whenever you start something new, you kind of work out the kinks. I think our listener base has has grown since the show started and I'm getting some positive feedback from people so it's all good. It's truly a labor of love on my part and on part of Las Vegas Hot Radio because we really do just want to give exposure to the artist. That's what it's all about. Well that radio voice of yours is almost like uh, a midsummer dream to me. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm awesome. trying to flatter you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. What a compliment. What a compliment. Thank you so much, Mr. Al Lindsay. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to join us this time next week. Same place on What's Up Las Vegas with your host, Linnell Baker, on Las Vegas Hot Radio.com. WLHR, Las Vegas Hot Radio, the heart and soul of Las Vegas music. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, where'd you get that lipstick? It's Tantas, Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. Girl, they have over 42 vibrant hues of the sheerest of pure to the boldness of cobalt blue. Wow. With exciting shades of nude, pink, red, and orange, and anything in between. Well, I just love it. Can I find it online? Yes, at TantasCosmetics.com. It's a deal. I'm going on TantasCosmetics.com. And you can find it at Macy's, 12 Oaks, Novi, Michigan, and Lenox Mall in Atlanta, Georgia. It's Tantas, Tantas Cosmetics by Nadanya. 